Hello and welcome to the channel. I've read a recent publication about fault segmentation on seismic images and it comes with Python code for prediction. And in this video, I will show you how you can run the latest open source machine learning code for fault segmentation on your own computer and seismic data. For those who don't know me, my name is Ruslan. I'm working on developing AI-based solutions for oil and gas. Here is the GitHub account and repository we'll be using for this tutorial. So, the repository includes data and the link for subset carry volume is here. The prediction code is built around PyTorch framework. In a network folder, you will see various saved weights for prediction. As you might already guessed, there is no code for building neural network from scratch. We only have train neural network models in this repository that authors included because this code comes as a supplementary material for the paper. Let's say a few words about the essence of the work and understand what good it brings. The nature of fault structures in seismic images can make fault labeling difficult. Wrong manual labeling might harm neural network training. The researchers propose training 3D image segmentation networks with sparse 2D labels using a region-based loss function, and then a new architecture that improves the propagation of edge fault features while requiring fewer parameters and calculations. All right, let's download the repo, launch terminal, and run Jupyter Notebook. Okay, let's run the prediction function using the provided test data in show demo and Python notebook. Don't forget to download and save the carry data set to the data folder and import all the dependencies. If you have any problems importing the torch, there are numerous online guides on how to install it on your own system. The dataset and pre-trained weights are then loaded. And we can see that there is a problem here. Let's look at what went wrong. The issue with the prediction function. We are passing the model, the inference dataset, the device, and a tuple with the inference size. Let's take a look at the utils.py and see if there is any issue with the function. The issue is that the prediction function await instead of a tuple an argument structure. We can quickly fix it. Okay, now it works correctly. If at this point you receive an error, it might be because you don't have enough video memory. So that I would recommend you to change the inference size. Then we define a plotting functions to plot seismic and fault prediction data on the same image. In this case, the probability is 0.5. It is used as a separation criterion. Anything less than 0.5 indicating no faulting. Let's plot the results of this prediction now. I would increase the size of the image to make them more visible. And we see here prediction for top slice, inline and crossline direction. Let's now alter the code so that we can use our own seismic data. And by the way, you know that oil and gas content is not trending on YouTube. If you enjoy what you've seen so far, be sure to smash that like button so that the video will reach more people. It is much appreciated. And we'll be using Segi.io Python library for reading custom seismic files from Segway format. Of course, you'll need to use pip to install the package from the command line. And let's look for the Delft dataset that we'll be using for our tutorial. The Delft dataset is stored on Terranubis website and it's been downloaded to our download folder. And you know what? I will replicate my download script from Segi.io from my previous tutorial. Here is the reading section, which I'm copying and pasting here. However, we need to make certain adjustments and we are deleting some of the functions that we don't need here. Let's rename everything to data because GX is not clear. And then transposing the array. In the first place, the prediction code anticipates the time axis making some changes in the inference size and running the prediction code. And it took 23 seconds. So then we make some adjustment to the functions to plot the slices. I choose the time in line across line. Let's plot it. So the plotting function also works fine. And the prediction results appear to be correct. It's great that we can distinguish between the grabbing structures on time slice. 
the faulting appears to be adequate. I have another video tutorial that goes through a building neural network from scratch for fault segmentation. Consider checking it out. Thanks for watching and see you at the next one.